Alrighty guys, Sean Darling here. Today we're going to be learning about smartphone actions. So basically, I have a character here. If I come over here and click on the manipulate bones tool and move a bone around or two, you'll see this guy is set up to, uh, to break. Uh, it's in two pieces, two layers, and they don't blend. That's one reason why you would use these. Also, if we move this body, you can see I get to a certain point and we get this loop happening here. So we have to do something to where when these bones move, they uh, correct themselves. So if I lift this uh, foot up, you can see here, well, it's bending the wrong way, but you can see that when it bends to a certain point, this knee actually breaks here and gets uh, odd and squashy. So jumping back to frame zero, we're going to show you how to make corrections for these using something called smart bones. Every bone is its own smart bone when you use it like one with an action applied to it that we create ourselves. So let's start out with this body bone and you can see how that flaps and loops over. We're going to fix that. You see that it's doing it on the dark brown layer here and on the here too but if we come down even farther we're gonna get it on all the layers there of the body okay I highly suggest naming your bones before we begin this particular one I'm just gonna go in and select we're gonna call this one spine 2 and then now we're gonna come down to this one and name it spine 1 so now you have two spine bones, they are named differently. We're going to go to this top one. We're going to come over here to this area where it says style and actions. We're going to click on the actions tab and we're going to click on this little button right here that says new action and we will say spine two. That is the right bone. We just say OK. And then that will lead us into this secondary timeline that is specifically only for this bone and it's just for the action of the bone going one direction so you'll see what i mean if we drag our playhead up though a particular amount of frames that you want i'm going to pick 48 frames it just gives me enough, enough time to work with and i'm going to come over here to this transform bone tool and we're going to lean this all the way over as far as we want to the right you can see that ugly damage happening there that's about as far as we want him to lean now it creates a keyframe right here in this lower timeline and I'm just going to move that back and you can see over time that's what's going to be happening. I'm going to go up to frame 48 and then now I'm going to go down to the layer that I want it to fix. So let's come down here all the way to our body and we're going to go down here to the main body layer, not the folder but the, the uh, this one called body. I'm going to deselect all my points. And I'm going to come in and just grab the points that I need to move to correct this shape. It's that one and this guy here. And now you'll see when we do this, that is a perfect bend. Now let's go ahead and get the belly spot here as well. So we're just going to click on it and make sure you de-click uh, everything so that nothing is moving you don't want. I'm going to just move these around. Sometimes it's hard to tell where they're supposed to go. And we'll just get these in a in a better spot. They are masked so you can see it's not overlapping here. And that one works as well. Now if they get too close, like right here, this one here, we can move that one off and you see it makes an extra keyframe right here on frame 24. You can put a frame anywhere you want along the way if it needs to be corrected as you go. Like, oh, this one's a little close here too. Let's just pull that one and it'll make another keyframe right there for you. So you can do this with as many as you need anywhere you want in this timeline. And it will fix this bone's uh, action and any of the um, damaging effects that may be happening. Now, when we're done with that, we're gonna come over here and click this right here, this word that says main line, double click it and we're come back out to our main timeline. Now we still need to make another action for the bone going the other direction. So you need to be on your bone layer for this. So I'm going to go up to the bone layer and with that same bone selected, I'm going to come over here and click on new action 
and it will see it'll bring up the action name of spine 2 2 meaning it's spine 2 number 2 action you can call it whatever you want but don't change the name here because it'll need to refer to that name to be used so just go ahead and click OK it'll make us a brand new little timeline for the uh, second action of this bone I'm gonna drag this one up to 48 also right there and then we're gonna grab the transform bone tool and we're gonna bend it the other direction here from the middle of the bone so there we go looks pretty ugly and we're gonna roll scroll down here back to the body layer and I am going to just grab after I deselect everything grab some points and just sort of pull them in that direction to get us to correct that shape just move them around as they need to be and there we go we want to do the same thing with that belly spot layer just like before it's masked like I said so don't worry about it coming over the edges you're just gonna pull that off and out of the way something like like this and we can test all of these to see how well this is working or not so we can just come back up and, and see that that goes like that let's uh, not pull it all the way off though because if you see here it's supposed to go under that leg let me correct that just by pulling this back up getting it back in a more appropriate position and then we can test again that looks pretty good compared to what it was and if you don't like everything just go ahead and adjust what you need to and there is the smart bone action for that particular bone left and right so I'm just gonna come back up to the main line here and now if we want we can grab the manipulate bones tool from the bone layer we'll grab manipulate bones here and now we can move this around and see he moves perfectly fine with that so now you just need to do this with all the rest of your bones so in the bone layer you see there is an ear here and if I move this ear it all moves together but if I move the end bone which is on a different layer so now when I move this you see that we get a break here we don't want that so we're gonna have to make a smart bone action to where when this bone moves that gets corrected so with that bone selected we're gonna come in and we can either rename the bone or just leave it but we're going to select a new smart bone action for it do not change the name of this bone here and we're gonna say okay we're gonna move up to frame 48 again and now I'm going to move this bone to where I believe its extreme would be just at the top of the, the arc of the ear bend and so I'm gonna come down here to my ear left and actually it's going to be the ear tip left which is gonna be a little higher up right here and we're gonna correct those points as well and we want to make sure that they create a shape of this ear that looks like it is uh, still part of the ear so I'm just gonna move this stuff around a bit and we can adjust the curvature because the curvature is accounted for uh, in this smart bone action is everything else that's animatable is it's very very nice that way I'm gonna have this up this way and it's very possible that this might just be the front piece of the ear here um, so I think in this one we're gonna need to move these over this is just gonna be that front edge of the ear so there we go we'll round that off in, in a bit if maybe maybe we will I'm gonna straighten that out and you'll see now that this will come down more like it should and then eventually we can adjust some small little bits and go find the extremes of the movement that need to happen that's what you really want to go and put a heat frame for because the, the in-betweens will fill in but the uh, these edges really need to be so we just come up you can see that animates pretty well 
all of this now we're going to grab all of our frames here and we're going to change this interpolation from smooth to linear and that way they won't sort of stretch around and do weird stuff uh, just because they're um, set to the wrong interpolation I'm going to move this one back out and here just want to go up to frame 100 like I said if you get any weirdness just kind of go in here and work on it we can also change the lower layer as well if need be so somewhere in here maybe just a little adjustment there these can be uh, straightened so that wouldn't you know make a, a cutoff uh, place there as well just remember you can do whatever you want to get it to look exactly the way you'd like it to look now there is still a little bit of it's not interpolation it's the movement of everything at the same time but it gives you that kind of impression that it is interpolating we don't necessarily want that I'm just going back and touching a couple of these points and to the to the first one here as well let's get that a little better you know so something of this nature is how that's going to look and so we get a ear flip up now we, like I said we still need to create a inner ear for this but you get the idea and now we go back to our main line and grab our manipulate bones tool from the bone layer and you can see that anything that has to move at least gets a, a nicer motion than it would here that's it pretty much for creating some smart bone actions in a very simple way me and this rabbit character are going to do some more work together and we'll do another tutorial soon so thank you very much for watching we're gonna